Hey, 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 family, it is Evelyn here, and I'm back with another video in the self-care series. And for those of you that are new here, welcome. My name is Evelyn, and I help women entrepreneurs, creatives, and influencers enjoy their success without the stress through strategic self-care and business systems. So I'm so excited that you're here. If you've been here before, if you're a longtime follower, Welcome back, girl. I'm glad that you're here. Okay, thanks for tuning in. And in this video, I want to talk about why New Year's resolutions are bad for your self-care. And you're probably thinking, Evelyn, where was this video a couple of weeks ago when I was making New Year's resolutions? And I will say this, New Year's resolutions in and of themselves are not a bad thing. The way we approach New Year's resolutions is a bad thing. And the reason why I say New Year's resolutions are bad for your self-care is because an important part of self-care is self-discipline. And all self-discipline is, is keeping a promise that you made to yourself. When we make New Year's resolutions and we don't have a strategic plan on how we're going to implement them, on how we're going to track them, on how we're going to achieve them, on, on how we're going to stay on task, we let ourselves down because we have not been self-disciplined to actually achieve those things. And what happens if you continually break promises to yourself, if you continually don't enforce self-discipline on yourself, then over time, it can slowly erode at your belief in yourself because you will start telling yourself things like, I never finish what I start or, you know, well, there's no point in me setting goals because I'm going to fall off through the halfway through the year or, you know, all these bad things because you weren't self-disciplined to keep your resolutions. What you should do instead of New Year's resolutions is to create goals and a strategic plan. You knew that that's what I was going to say, right? If you've been rocking with me for any amount of time, you knew I was going to say a strategic plan. What do you want to do? Why do you want to do it? How are you going to do it? And how are you going to break that down into smaller steps? What's the what's the end goal and how are we going to get there and what's the parameters? You guys know I talk all the time about being a strategist and helping women in their business and in their life achieve goals. And as a strategist, what I do is kind of hard to describe. You guys have heard me talk about the GPS example several times, but it's basically you have to know where you want to go, almost like putting in the coordinates into your GPS. And then as a strategist, what I do is I help you navigate and find the best path to get to your end destination. A lot of times with women that I work with or women that I talk to, I have to help them really get clear on the destination where they want to go. And then we walk into how to get there. And it's something that... Uh, you know, I don't know if you can teach people how to do. I think it's something that if you are not a strategic planner, I think that's, there's nothing to be ashamed of or to be disappointed about. I think it's knowing when to get support and to get help. But for this year, what are your goals? What are your, what's your plan to get there? For example, one of my goals is to do a really, really lengthy series on self-care for creatives, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs and influencers who are women, right? Well, I already have a strategic plan. I already know why I want to do those videos. I already know the end goal of what I'm going to do those videos. I've put the systems and the processes in place to be able to do those videos. And so I am now executing on those videos. And what's great about that is that's just a little check mark to my brain that says, wow, she did what she set out to do. She accomplished that goal. So I want to encourage you to set goals. Where do you want to be when the year is over? What do you want? If you had a checklist of things that you got done this year, how you wanted to feel this year, or how you wanted to function this year, great. Why do you want to do those things? Attach an emotion to that. And then what are the things you're going to do day to day, week to week, month to month, quarter to quarter, once t one major time throughout the year that's going to get you closer to those goals? So, I'm really, really excited. Let me know what questions you have about self-care. Let me know what other videos you would like to see. I'm definitely always taking requests. You guys know how I do. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe and turn the notifications on so that you don't miss an upload. If you are already subscribed, girl, turn your notifications on. If you're not watching on YouTube, 
you might want to watch on YouTube and make sure you join the best life challenge so you can live out your best life in your personal life and in your business. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.